Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 13. But first, coffee. I got a iced caramel latte from Panera. It's actually really good. All right, I'm at Wegmans today. Hoping to make it a quick one, I say that every week, but I can get in and out of Wegmans quicker than I can Walmart because Walmart, I just get like too distracted by cute clothes and, and household stuff. Wegmans, I can stay a little more focused on groceries, so let's go. of my bags of bags. Christmas shopping bags. Oh, I forgot to put my new one in here. Darn it. Alright, snuck in the back door. Alright, well, let's get organized here. Next to the bills section. My bags down here. They all fall out. Okay. I like the setup of Wegman, so it's gonna come in the back door, start back here with like the box and can stuff, get all the non-perishable stuff first. I should be able to fit all of this in cart one. Cart one? All right, I didn't write it down, but I need to get um, Doggy toothbrushes. So I was kind of hoping they would have them here. Of course, I just placed a Chewy order last night. Forgot to order them. No, doesn't look like they have them here. Cat stuff. Okay, I'll have to remember to order those. We used to use a lot of paper plates and bowls, but we got hooked up to the town's sewer system finally, and now we use the Corel ones. I, they're not gonna have it here, I don't think, but I really wanna get like a platter to match them. Okay, I need another Windex spray bottle. So whenever my kids use it and it's empty, they throw it out instead of refilling it, and it disappears, so. That's why I always end up buying more. I'll try and just refill it. No. I have to get super glue. Oh my gosh, I got this um, organizer thing from Tina that has like the gallon bags, the sandwich bags, the aluminum foil, all like organized. And anyways, I need super glue to keep the, I can't explain it. I'm just gonna have to show you. To keep part of it on. Cause it's like slipping off. The slider thing. For like the foil. This will probably be a Walmart thing. Okay. Now, doing an oatmeal bar for breakfast one of these days, I think Thursday. These are just super easy. They cook up in like, I don't know, a minute. And waffle mix. I'm gonna make waffles twice this week. I'm gonna make them with the muffin board on Monday because I wanna make flour waffles. I'm doing like a flour themed muffin board. And then for Waffle Wednesday. And all the oil is in the next aisle. Totally forgot to see if the kids needed cereals. I know I saw Zoe throw an empty box of Captain Crunch into recycling. So we'll definitely get that. Alex needs his raisin bran. All right, I'm gonna have to do another cereal inventory. When I see a kid throw away an empty box, I try and remember to replace it. All right, next aisle is the baking aisle. We'll get the canola oil. Let's 
see if they have any fun muffin mixes. Cranberry orange would be good for the flower themed muffin board. And blueberry. I like the Betty Crocker one. Okay, so. Also from Timu, I got this trail mix dispenser thing. And well, I was gonna put just nuts in it, and then James was like, why don't we do like trail mix? And I was like, that's brilliant. So, I'm gonna get like fun chocolate chips to put in it. So, I just got light and just like good old regular chocolate chips. Um, I'm trying to think of like how many bags I need to fill each compartment. Hopefully that's enough. I'm gonna add some flour. I like the unbleached flour. Oh, I got the chocolate chips. So the nuts I want are in the next aisle. Like, those are like the cooking nuts, but I want like party nuts. If that makes sense. I'm gonna get some more muffin cups. Yes, I have. I'm going to need two containers of each. I don't really know. Now I'm second guessing myself and thinking that I need more chocolate chips for the container. I'll have to make a separate video with the container. Okay. Let's get some sunflower caramel. chocolate chips. Okay, maybe I'm not putting everything into cart one. I totally forgot about the, uh, our Tramix station that we're making. Alright, back over here. What did we get? We got butterscotch. Let's go get 
like the condiments and spaghetti sauce. I'm making eggs benedict toast and I'm making like a super simple recipe. And I saw that Wegmans makes their own hollandaise sauce, so we are going to try and find it. Alright, it came down the spaghetti sauce aisle first, so we'll get that. pastas this week. We're fully stocked on pastas. I just needed spaghetti sauce and tomato sauce for a recipe. I originally wrote Dijon mustard because if I can't find the Wegmans colony sauce, we're gonna have to make it homemade. But we're also out of it, so we just need it anyways. All right, where? Oh, here we go. All right, it's like super tiny. Oh my gosh. Is of course not even filled all the way. All right, I'm gonna get some of these. They are jamming some Avril Lavigne, and I am here for it. Sunday Sundays where we have ice cream Sundays every Sunday. We get the applesauce. Got applesauce on the menu a few times this week. We can eat two of these if it's our fruit for dinner. And then the kids like to pack these pouches snacks and such. And some of the kids like the applesauce cups. I clearly prefer the applesauce with the cinnamon in it. James was eating some as I left, and it's making me think we probably need more. We stocked up on Velveeta last week, so we're good there. Oh, I did want to get some jars of gravy to have in the pantry again. Just one of those staples that we ran out of because I had stocked up at Thanksgiving time and then we finally used it all. Now I should get some more. Alright, this is the tuna that James likes. Hi, 
Oh my gosh, I do need pasta. I need egg noodles. And we walked right past the Dijon. Get both of these traditional and honey. Forgot I needed, we're stocked up on every pasta except egg noodles that I need for the beef noodle casserole Wednesday. I'm gonna leave the cart right here and run back and grab egg noodles. Fit everything in this cart. It's gonna be full, but we can do it. All right, I gotta get Jordan's party muffin bites. Costco had the chocolate chip ones, but not the party ones. Tuesday a little different this week. We are doing air fryer nachos. So I'm gonna set everything up like a nacho bar and everyone will make up their own nachos. So I'm just gonna like a bunch of different chips. People might want chicken with their nachos. And maybe Doritos. Verde ones. If they have the guacamole ones, oh my gosh, they do. I'm obsessed with these. I don't buy them that often because they're so good. Like, I can eat them all. Anyway, these two together, like, to die for. cheese. That looks really good. I've got salsa. Let me get some queso. Tetris. And some avocado salsa and spinach dip. Let's see. What do I have over here? I see queso. Mm, I think we should be good. These dips. And then we'll have veggies and we'll have taco meat, shredded cheese, and like everybody can make up the nachos of their desire. I should get some jalapenos though. Pepperoncini. All right, we did good on cart one. All right, this cart is full. Let's leave it right here. Tuck it away. Cart two. Coke while we're still over in this area of the store. Actually, before I forget, I'm gonna go to the pharmacy because we have a medicine here, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's this Wegmans or a different Wegmans. I just got a text that said your medicine's ready at Wegmans. Yeah. 
And we don't usually use Wegmans Pharmacy, so yeah. I have no idea which Wegmans it's at. Yes, her medicine was here. So I gotta wait for it to get mixed up. Grab the toothbrush while I'm waiting for the salient time this cold and flu season. Um, my poor Breezy D has strep throat, so. I need to get her into a specialist to see about getting those tonsils out. Okay, got the medicine, got the toothbrush. Let's go get the produce and then the breads. All right, let's start with the stuff for the shrimp kebabs on Monday. Let's see. What mushrooms do I want? I really want these. But in the family pack, they're like, I guess they're not that big. They're like too big. I feel like the shrimp don't cook good. So I'm going to get a couple things of these for the kebabs. Doesn't really matter. Mushrooms. We'll get the peppers next. I love the family packs at Wegmans. I do want to get a couple of green ones though that don't come in the family pack. that idea. They have some poblano peppers, but I just want like a green bell pepper. Okay, we need green beans for crock pot night. Strawberries, so that's good. Let's go get those. Passing by the clementines on the way to the strawberries. We've been eating a lot of these. So we had two five pound bags.
our raspberries. Gotta get those. Raspberries go bad really fast, so I try not to buy more than we can eat in like a day. Okay. I got some blackberries for the muck and board. Probably be the only one to eat them. Actually, I think Jason eats them too. All right, let's see how we're doing. Don't need these this week. Change of plans. All right, let's grab melon. peppers here either. So strange. Last week, no strawberries at Walmart. This week, no green peppers. Uh, I like avocado with my nachos. Also need lemons for a recipe. Oh, they had no watermelon last week either. All right, the secret to a good watermelon is a nice yellow spot. Not many of these have one. Actually, this one in the back does. $11.99. Let's get some cantaloupe too. I try and like rotate between cantaloupe and honeydew. I can't wait to put on our vegetable garden. Thursday's crackpot night. I'm gonna dig down. I like them when they're still firm. I'm gonna get six pounds of red potatoes. Um, so I don't actually need all of these. I need like, well, I might. I'll take that one. Okay, I'm going to get some shredded lettuce for 
Taco Tuesday. cents a pound. All right, I put parsley on the list, but actually I already have it at home. All right, let's get their lunch carrots and their lunch celery. Love these pre-portioned packages. I'm gonna check them over real quick. Make sure they're not all dry. Oh, throw them at myself. I have to get over in the bakery section, so not here in the bread section. Two different sections. We've been going through sandwich bread like crazy. Like I came back to the store last week and got two more loaves of bread and that still wasn't enough. We still ran out. I'm going to start this week with five loaves of bread. Let's see how far that gets us. Okay, let's go leave this cart with the other one and we'll get a third cart and get the meats. Bakery section, so let's eat the bread. Part three. All right, Tuesday is National Eggs Benedict Day. So we're gonna get some sourdough bread for that. Then, I'm having like a creamy chicken pasta. I wanted to get some Tuscan bread for that. Let's see, let's get a loaf of olive oil and a loaf of a big garlic one. So we got all the bread. Let's go get the meat. Chicken 
put two recipes, so I'm gonna get three of these and use one and a half each time. This is five, no wait, yeah, this is five pounds of chicken for $11.45. Right up here.
Okay. Doing good. Let's see what we have left to get. Butters, we got cream. We got gogurts, yogurts, M&M yogurts. We got the shredded cheese. Oh, I gotta get sliced cheese. Oh, and we got the salmon. And I forgot to write it down, but we need sour cream for taco night. third part so I don't have to get a fourth part because we just need the milks and frozen and I could probably put like milks down there we can do it yogurts down there now that I think of it. I don't want to put glass bottles down there in case they slide out. Yeah, I don't need to be that person who uh, breaks chocolate milk all over the floor. cheaper at Costco or Walmart, but to go there for just eggs and waste the gas money would defeat the purpose of saving money on eggs. So here we are. frozen section and grab the shrimp which is in the other frozen section where we got the salmon. Mm, 
taking its tail off. the right ice cream last week. So he wants, I think, French vanilla. She's like, it has the little black specks in it. I think this is what she wants. I thought she was talking about cookies and cream. that far away when I parked. Oh, I forgot I had coffee in here. It's like a reward. And that's what's beautiful about iced coffee. It's always cold. We yeah, load it in. I'll show you when we get home. And away we go. Now I just gotta put it away. <laughs> That's the hard part. It's the restocking every week. Well, not hard. Time consuming. It's not hard. It takes me probably twice as long to put it all away than it does to buy it. Oh, what do we have this week? I'm going to take Zoe on her birthday one-on-one -on -one outing. So then I can post her birthday extravaganza vlog. And... Oh... Kids started track. Bree has her first track meet. Patrick had his first track meet last week. Um, Alex chose to do work instead of track. And Deshaun is still not cleared from his knee surgery to participate. He still goes, but he's not in. He's not running in it, but he just still goes to, I don't know what he does. Be there, I guess. <laughs> Support the team. Okay. And I think this is our last week before the 
little kids spring sports start. They are in flag football. The twins are doing two different flag football leagues. Plus the little kids are in a, it's like a ninja class. It was like a, she changed the name of it. It was a parkour class and she changed the name to ninja class, but they love it. And then, um, Flag football, ninja class. I guess that's it for them for the spring. Yeah. All right, here's the receipt. The total today was $1,000. $45.72. Okay, uh, well that's dry cleaning, I still gotta bring in. But here's the rest of the groceries. The kids are coming out to bring it all in. Yeah, they're really heavy. Oh. All right, this is our garage where we store our food and the kids just brought everything in for me. So now I'm gonna put it away. I'll show you when I'm done. And pretend I snapped my fingers and it's magic. It's like all put away. No, it didn't take me very long today. Uh, all right, so here's where we store the food, like pantry items. I put away the pasta and the sauces. Got those today. Got the corn. I got these from Timu. I was gonna use them. I got. I only got two because I want to like try it. And then I got this. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. And I don't know. I think I'll start with like veggies. But anyways, I couldn't get these apart. So I gotta have Josh do that before I use these. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting the veggies in this because you guys keep recommending it. Give that a try. Um, put the applesauces away. Over here we have four fridge freezers. Uh, down here, okay, so I didn't put the trail mix stuff away because I told you I'm gonna make a video with that this week. <laughs> the watermelon, there was nowhere to put it. So watermelon has to identify as water right now. This is the meat fridge, meat and cheese, uh, got the whipped creams, got the butters, got frozen veggies there. This is the yogurt, milk, creamer. This freezer is always a hot mess, but like, you know what? There's 13 people going in and out of these on a daily basis. So we just try our best to keep it as organized as possible. And then this is the once Josh's beer fridge. He got demoted to the door. Now it's the produce fridge. And this was like the little bit of produce that's gone, going. So that's going to the chickens. I think they like their buffet tonight. And that is it for today. Thank you for coming to Wegmans with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.